Make sure you guys go check out my new merchandise available in the link in the description below. What's going on everybody, Super Saiyan Paul here back at to give another episode of the Jack 2 HD PS4 collection. This is something that's really interesting is because in the mirror you can actually see normal headed Jack because we're on big, big headed Jack mode and then over here if you move while moving, the camera's being stupid, uh, look at his horns, the horns pop up from Dark Jack. So that's something really cool to take note of, but... Yeah, that's kind of like a, a symbolic thing if you think about it, like the, the demon's always there inside of me and I need to keep it in check. Anyway, we're going to be headed to this kiosk because if you guys didn't remember, we currently have about like 193 precursor orbs. We have a few more kiosks to do before the races. So we did that one on the right side and the bottom right. We're going to go work our way up down this left side and then work our way down the middle. There's only four kiosks in the middle, two, three on this side, and then reverse race is all we have to do, so let's talk to this. I'd like to see you prove your driving skills. Take on another ring challenge. Let's see what you got. Alright, this one's a ring race, and then it's gonna be exactly what you think is. I believe it's the arrow race repeated with a basic driver. If I remember correctly, so. This one's a nice open area. It's not like the slums where the slums have everything cramped up together. I like this one. It's a little bit more of a free, 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 free place. Okay, I'm in the wrong direction. That happens. Hoverboard racing is against the law. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what the? Yo, I honestly thought I touched it. I honestly did. Shit, man. Got some frame rate issue there. Or at least now I know the path. I don't know why I decided to do that. Just gonna rush right through. I know I touched it. Am I hot? But I did. I wish they changed the voice to of to like whoever was currently ruling it because the Baron, rest in peace. As bad as he was, it's kind of irrelevant because it made the world feel less immersive knowing that it's just repeated messages. It would have been cool to see whoever was the new guy in charge, if it was Ashlyn, whoever talking out the orders. And seeing what type of world that this would have turned into because, I mean, after you finish everything, what type of leader are we having here? What type of rulership are we under? And is everything all deed and dandy? Because clearly in Jack 3, that's not the case. In Jack 3, things came flying out the water left and right. Yeah, man, right. Right, Chas. Yeah, man. Respect. All right, we're going up top here. We're going, we're going to take this. This guy was literally driving me to the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please don't crash into me, make me die. Don't crash into me. Any day. Wow, they're just taking me around the whole city. Around the whole city, come on. I wonder where I'm gonna end up at the end of all this. Okay, now we gotta jump off. <laughs> That's one way to end that mission. I literally just ended it with teabagging my vehicle onto the guy. Alright, we gotta get out of here before I die. I love how two Crimson Guards try to kamikaze it to me, and my big ass head just knocked them off, and they gave up. The Shadow needs you to collect some green ego for his experiments. Get all of it before the ego vanishes. This mission I absolutely love because it was like a tribute to the green ego mission in the beginning of Jack 1 for me. I don't know why. It was just really interesting. However, something that I don't like about this mission is the fact, look at that map. And it's so easy to get hit by a Crimson Guard by accident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're the one in trouble. Literally, America. America cops, let's go. Okay. 39, 38, 37. Tons of eco everywhere. 
I wish there was more missions like this because I mean we're collecting eco but Jack clearly can't harness anything anymore because he's been touched by by darkness he's been pedo touched by Baron Praxis yes. yeah yo I almost punched that guard in the nuts imagine I had punched that crimson guard into the nuts the amount of firepower they'd be using against me then again why am I even doing this the normal way I could be going dark Jack and going absolutely ape shit on everything out here I almost punched this guy in the nuts as well. Alright, we got 17 more. 15 more. Did that not count some of them? Okay. Roger. Yeah, here's one. There's two. Let's go around this whole thing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Where's the last one? Not bad. I'll put in a good word with the shadow. That's the weird thing about this mission. And oh! 199. Kid me would have been in tears if that had happened because I would have wanted 200 for Kira mode and they wouldn't have gotten to me. Yeah, that mission, I hate how there's a delay on the eco and what's exactly going on here. So now we got rid of this kiosk that's head over here to this one over this side. But yeah, kid me would have been like, they hate me. They don't want me to win. Okay. If I remember correctly, based on the amount of time that they're giving me here. Let's go around the corner. Let's see if I can make this. I do believe it's on the front right hand side of this whole tomb. So, I, yeah, it was a corner not this one and this stuff used to be tough for me because I was like yeah even as a kid I used to do this and chill up in this spot this used to be my chill spot and I was hiding from the law as Jack the undercover awesomeness okay so that kiosk is gone as well wow so one two three four and then that last one down there let's do that one down there first and then we're gonna get rid of the small kiosk because this race is kind of Important. So let's get this done. Over to the race. Remember, we always sabotage this guy because it's not fair. And if he, if he is like part of Errol's squad or any type of homage to Errol, die. Okay, we're gonna run inside to Cruz's place. Technically, it's Daxter's place. And he changed up some of the artwork. He just removed everything. I like that touch. The fact that we changed things up and made it ours. That's what I like. She's actually wearing pants? That's golden pants. Yo, this whole time I thought she was just butt-ass naked. That's cool. Well, oh wait, she is... I don't even know. I don't know. But yeah, this mission right here. It's the Errol race. They spawn in a racer for us. And we gotta ride, ride the shitty zoomer. But something that I always like doing... To mess with him so this way I win is that we let me try to check out the time as well. Because this one Onan's minigame. I gotta go back to Onan as well, I believe. I don't remember if she had one. Wait, City Race? 207. The 207 is the time to be but They can't mess with me because Okay, first off, if you transform and just kill him. The race is gonna be ruined anyway, so you don't want to do that. Like, they won't even let me, like, change my form or whatever. They watch. Like, for some reason, they wouldn't let you race if you just did this, like, and killed them. So what I do, I just keep transforming, and it's damaging him slowly. Whoops. Yeah, you see, they wouldn't let you take off. So you gotta be careful. Just gotta set him on fire just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Deuces! Alright, so now I don't have to worry about him, but I have to worry about the time limit. So it's 207, and I gotta beat him. This race is gonna be pretty tough, because I don't think there's that much leeway compared to the other races. 
So we gotta beat this with the haste. Making sure that I jump into like every turn. Hopefully I don't run into any pedestrians and slow myself down. That would really screw this up. Yo, I'm on laser focus mode. My mouth is literally like hanging up. Like, oh, laser focus. Don't drool, Paul. Do not drool. I don't want to drool. Whoop. Had some chunk to it. Look how far back he is. I mean, in the original brace, like, Errol was literally on top of my dick right now. But, because I sabotaged him, I would like to say that because I sabotaged the race, it works. It's not really a glitch too, too much, but it's, it's a cool tactic. Because it's still got a race, it doesn't break the game, and you gotta still do all of this stuff. It just eliminates one person that could have possibly make this thing just a living thing. I mean, Arrow's dead, therefore he shouldn't even have any say in my race. Two oh seven the time to beat. Congratulations, you achieved the gold record. Where does this send me? Yo, it teleported me all the way back to the port. That's what I'm talking about. Like, let's see the high scores. I believe they just gave me old 12 though, because I started from 199, but Scattergun done, Blaster, Vulcan, Peacemaker, Jeff were done. It's all these classes. The Port Race I beat. Uh, City Race I beat. Odin's minigame I gotta keep an eye out for. I think you can go back and do a thousand, or I could be wrong. That one is still mystery in the air right now. But let's do one more of these kiosks over here, and then we should be good to go. All right, last mission. Here's a tough one. Beat the clock to here. Smell this part of the city. That one actually has me quite stumped. Oh, man. I'm just going to race off in this direction. I'm just taking a guess based on the amount of time that they gave me that it's got to be some distance away, most likely behind this rock. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there anything else from this particular kiosk before I gotta dip up out uh, here? I think it's turned off. Yep, it's off. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe for more. I'll be seeing you guys next time. We're currently at 214 precursor orbs, almost at the end. Till then, everybody, take care. Peace.